Uh, what we're learning to do is integrating three techniques, trig, exponential, and logarithmic functions. Um, the rules to integrate trigonometric functions in your corner sheet. I uh, will show you that later. All right, so basically how you integrate exponential function is, um, before we do, you know if we had this, and if I differentiate it, you know how it's the differentiation of the power that comes down, which is 4, and then originals kept the same, right? With integration, um, the originals kept the same, but you always put it under 1 with a differentiation of the power. So you know how when you differentiate it, it comes down? When you integrate it, you put it under 1. That's all it is. Okay? And then what's um, that? 1x or just x. Remember from last lesson, if you integrate a constant, it just turns into that number with the x and then plus the constant. So that's your rule to exponential integration. Just put it under 1. So let's apply the same thing here for the next example. The question is basically find y when you're given these two functions. So obviously we want to integrate f dash x in order to get to f of x. So that means I have to integrate this Let's apply the same thing. So notice how there's a 6 this time. So put it there, but you always have to put it under the differentiation of the power is 3. That's right. And 6 over 3 is? Yeah. So right now, what I have is f of x is equal to that. We have to find what plus c is, and we are given this fact. So let's use that. So when we substitute 2, so in this case, 2e 3 times 2 is 6 plus c is equal to oh it's okay all right same thing so wh what do we know about c here then yes yeah, c is zero so basically the answer to that question is just f of x is equal to 2e 3x all right so that's how you integrate exponential function once again the rule is in your formula sheet now Let's integrate um, something like this. If you get a fraction, before I do that, because if I want to differentiate logarithmic function, remember, what goes on top? The original or the differentiated? Differentiation of 3x comes on top, which is 3. And the original comes at the bottom. So in this case, that's just 1 over x, right? Now, in order to integrate it, what you do, um, it's, you always want to have this, like that always comes here, but the number in front is basically you take the top and the differentiation of the bottom, which is that. So I'll write that down. So this comes from differentiate the bottom, that's the original and then plus c. So the answer is let's do the same thing here. This is the differentiated form. Basically they want you to find the equation for y with those points. So if I integrate this, whenever you see a fraction form, it's going to be ln. Okay? Ln with the bottom denominator here. But always have the fraction out in front because there's going to be always something out in front. So what did I write? The top stays but the differentiation of the bottom goes at the bottom which is, what's the differentiation of that? 2x. Okay, and then plus c and then simplify this. That's 3x yeah, because the x is cancelled. So girls, that's how you integrate ln functions. Now, we need to find plus c this time because we're given these values. So let's do that. So my y is 3 ln 4. If I substitute for x, which is 3, I get 3 ln, what's that, 3 squared minus 5? 4 plus c. So to figure out what c is, um, that's 3 ln 4, take, oh, it's 0. Yeah, same thing. So 
basically, I can just say the equation is just that. Okay? So that's how you integrate ln function. Now let's learn to integrate trig function. Yes, we're learning a lot of rules, but that's what it is. When you integrate cos, it just turns into sine. The original's kept the same, but you always have to put an under one and the differentiation of that. Differentiate three x. That's it. Now, with integration of cos, it's not minus. If the question, it's a good. That's a good question. If the question was this, then you put minus. It's the other way. Yeah. When you integrate sine, you put a minus in front of cos. When you integrate cos, there's no minus, it turns into a sine. Wait, are any of these in the formula sheet? These are all in the formula sheet that I'm explaining. I'm, I wanted to show you girls the HSC formula sheet. I just didn't get a chance because we changed rooms. I'll show you later. There's a rule for sex squared. If I... Um, do you girls remember if you differentiate tan, you get... So this one you'll get 10x. Okay? But because the number is 1 in front, that's still 1x. This is going to be 1 over 1. Because remember, you always have to have 1 over something. The differentiation of 1x is 1. 1 over 1 is just 1, so there's nothing you add in front. Plus c, and then once again, you've got your x and y points. So let's figure it out. So c is equal to 2. So basically, it's basically that's your equation. Integration of 10, let's try it out. The key or the technique with this one is you want to break 10 into this. Okay? Now, if you see a fraction, it's going to be ln. I'm taking the bottom as the original, but what do I put on top? What do I put on top? You know how I said here, um, sine x, that's original. And the differentiation goes at the bottom. What's the differentiation of cos? So it's minus. Yeah, so it's minus ln cos x plus c. So as you can see, it's completely different to what we've done. But it's a, yeah, you can use ln to do that, which is a very good example that leads me to that. Yep. Yep. Let's do the same thing here. Of that. So the answer is just this, plus c. I won't do that, oh, I'll just quickly do this one. So the answer is 1 over 4, that plus c. Yeah. Okay? 